second round, he had a couple of good takedowns, and even at the end of the first round, uh, how did it feel to finally come back with that knockout win? Uh, it felt real good. I just I knew if I got my hands on him and I connected that, I would, I would have a better chance at finishing the fight. So, And then my corners, they, they told me in the second round, then in that second round, I got to knock him out, finish him. So it's what I had to do, So, and I got it done. So. That, that seemed to be a, a repetitive bit of advice from your corner that you had to knock him out. We were watching it and remarking that maybe that didn't seem terribly helpful to just go tell the guy to knock him out. I mean, yeah. uh, what do you think of when your corner just says, hey, go out there and knock the guy out? Um, I think that's, that's just exactly what I need to do is I need to finish him off and put my hands on him and just knock him out. And I mean, you know, it worked out in our, in our favor and it worked out my way. And I just knew once I dazed him, I seen him dazed, I just had to finish him off and couldn't let up. That makes for your 13th knockout now, and it's a big rebound for you after the Akira Kurosani loss. How important was it for you to get that win and uh, do it with your hands? Uh, it was real important. Just that whole last fight uh, kind of threw me off a little bit, and uh, I just knew I had to come back and and uh, put my put my place in in my division and uh, be recognized and and get back and get back on top to where I need to be and get back on the winning side of things. And do you hope that you can uh, actually get a more exposure in the next time that you fight, maybe not be on the Facebook prelims? Yes, I, ho I hope so. I hope this will help boost me up and get, uh, get me more recognition, recognition and uh, get on bigger cards. I mean, this is big, big, one of the biggest cards uh, ever, so I'm just happy to even be on, be on it with, uh, with the rest of the fighters, but uh, hopefully get back into being on t uh, TV. When your corner's telling you to go out there and knock him out, I mean, what was keeping you from it before? Was it just a matter of getting him to stand in front of you long enough? Yeah, just trying to, trying to, not trying not to get caught myself, trying not to get knocked out. So just trying to pace myself and t uh, time my punches and and just wait for my openings. This one seemed to have won the first two rounds. Can you talk about that? Did did it feel like uh, he won those first two rounds? Or what was he doing in those first two rounds? Uh, the first round, I felt like he could have went either way because I felt I had the, the takedown at the beginning of the fight. At the beginning of the round, I felt like I had it, but then towards the towards the end of the round, he he got the takedown and uh, he uh, he was on on top most of the time. So I knew that probably uh, won won the round in the judges' eyes. And then the second round kind of was the same thing. So I knew I was kind of behind. So I knew I had to come out strong the third round. Did you feel the urgency to come out looking for a knockout because of that? Yes, I, I did. And my, my coaches were telling me that I, I had to, I can't leave it to the judges. So that's what I had to do. Uh, can you talk about <clears throat> how, how was it going through training camp during the holidays? Uh, the weight cut, through Thanksgiving, Christmas, how hard was it? Uh, it was rough. It was rough because uh, I'm real close to my family. We always like to get together during the holidays and uh, have a lot of food and, and eat and it was hard not to not to be right there and, and eat with them and I wasn't this is the first year that I was actually with my family during uh, Christmas because we, we were all together during that time but um, they knew that I had to had to be here and I had to do what I had to do so they're all supportive of it and uh, but it, it was it was a good training camp though and I, I got to give thanks to my coaches and to my team for helping me out through it. So what's the first thing that you're going to do to celebrate in Las Vegas? I'm going to have some drinks and eat. <laughs>